Hey guys, this is part two of our do-it-yourself mini CNC uh, series that we're going to build out of floppy drives at first. And this is part two, interfacing the printer port, and we're just going to make our own uh, breakout board. Or not a board, we're just going to solder straight onto the printer port thing. And then use a program called Parmon. Uh, you can just Google P-A-R-M-O-N to get that program. It needs to be run on Windows 98 or XP in order to work. Uh, you can skip to the Linux part of this if you don't want to. Um, this is this is almost an optional just to learn a bit more about how the stepper motor and the floppy driver work. So what we do is we go online we'll find a printer port pinout. That's what you uh, type in to find this. And it tells you what pin is what. And you see pin 1, 14, 13, 15. So 1 to 13 and then it goes that way. And then we'll see one or two to nine are our data pins. That's the ones we want to interface with. So I've just taken a printer port out of one, uh, an old main board. And what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, solder up the tips here. I see they're already tinned actually. And we're just going to take some jumper cables to from here and uh, that's going to go into our uh, floppy drive after we soldered it so let's solder that together and then we'll hook it up so we just take these leads tin them up a bit so they solder nice And it's called tinning, apparently. It's when you're, uh, you put the solder on before. So what I'm going to do is I'll just grab the black, and the black is going to go to pin uh, number 18 to 25 of ground. So if we go, we look on our pinout sheet here, you see the bottom leftmost is pin 25. So if we go here, let's just, since that's right back there solder that back here to pin 25 it's going to be our black it's going to be our common so once we've done that we're going to solder from our uh, our data pins and then we're going to have a lead that we can go into our floppy drives these are going to be connected straight up into our floppies. So let's just connect this to pin number two here. And we'll just connect two and three for now because that's all we're, we need for demonstration purposes. And once we've got that done, we can actually hook it straight into... Well, let's test it first to see if it works. What I've done is I've got my... P-A-R-M-O-N, uh, Parmon program, and uh, I'll show you that right now. 